Y'all don't came through on Instagram, the community feed, and under the videos with y'all questions. Yeah, man. But if you see in this video, then know that that Q&A video was already put up on yesterday. So we're kind of doing a vlog around yeah. the questions and whatnot. <laughs> and we're just going to get our day started as usual. But this morning, my husband was met with some... Yeah, some news some that... hard news that then. I was not expecting. So y'all know we've been... Working from home, from home ever since 2020, and we've hardly had any interaction with our coworkers. But one of my coworkers in particular had been fighting cancer, and he had totally beat it. And then this morning, another one of our coworkers texted me and was like, "He didn't make it." And whoo, I don't even know what I don't even know what to even think. It's like, yeah. I was not expecting because he was doing so good. He, he was, was doing, doing so he great. Yeah, he was doing so good, and he he positive didn't, attitude. He didn't smoke. He he was hilarious. He was a clown. We yes. told I, I, we told him he was he he picked the wrong profession because he had us dying laughing every single day. He didn't take nobody's BS. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an older white man. <laughs> yeah, and 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 we just we just. We, we loved him, man, and 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 to get that this morning is like wow. And he was very healthy. I mean, he he, he ate he ate healthy. He he exercised daily, and so when when we even got the report that he had cancer, it was like but what him him like how in the world? Dang. So so it wasn't surprising that he beat it the first time, but right? He was in such good condition. Yeah. When he came back, he. I mean, look like he just taking a vacation. Yeah, and yeah, then, looking good and everything, man. Yeah. But then, then, then today, Stanley showed me the um, obituary announcement in the paper, and I was like, "Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way." Yeah, I said, like, "I can still see him now, pull it up, drive that truck, talk about something." Yep. Let me finish processing this, y'all. But we're gonna go and find us something to eat because yeah. you know, food always makes you feel better. Yeah. At least that's what the country people say. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now that's that time. I have my six month cleaning at the dentist that I need to run into. I'm I'm I'm, I'm almost a little bit late, so I'm getting ready to head uh -huh. on out there. Get ready to head on out there and get that done. Uh, I always say that the dentist is the devil, but at least they but at least they do keep your teeth right, you know, so you can be presentable in the world. <laughs> as you don't as you don't want walking around with no jacked up teeth, not on purpose anyway. Nah. Yeah. So uh, let me put this camera down and I'm getting ready to head on out. Y'all want to be cast over to me right now. Y'all yeah. see me with no brace. Let me show y'all my I'll hand. Be Let me show y'all my hand. Let me sit down with her. Go. So I need to put some vitamin E oil on my hand. But right now I'm sitting up here trying to, because like I told y'all before, my thumb doesn't. <laughs> Woo! It don't go over like that. So I have to sit here and make it go until that ligament loosens up but enough about that i'm over here for the group cruise and yes i am that anal person that studies charts and graphs i'm the person that tries to find wherever i place people at in their cabins that everything that I feel like they're interested in will be just like an elevator ride up or down. So for instance, if I know that you're a person like you like to drink and hang out at Delito and stuff like that, then I'm going to put you right up in here where it's accessible to this elevator right here or back here where it's accessible to this elevator right here. So that means that up and down these elevators, you'll pretty much be where you want to be. For the most part, the most, the, the best place to put someone is in the middle of the ship. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I have two different cruises going on right now, getting ready to add my third. And yeah, this is the stuff that I do. But also, let me show y'all. All right, so I'm in the process of organizing the Q&A questions and right, I baby, have, I'm out. all right, love you. So we have 55 questions here. Y'all some nosy motherfuckers, but I love y'all. But we did tell y'all to ask questions. 
But yeah, y'all asking some really good ones. So I'm going to organize these questions and get back with you on the answers in that video. So y'all, within the Q&A questions, we, I did get a question and someone was like, Lynette, your skin is so pretty. What do you use? Thanks for the compliment. I never think about my skin as being pretty. I just always think that I just have a right skin. But I'm going to show y'all what it is that I do do. I went over this in the Q&A video, but since I'm organizing the stuff now, I'm going to show y'all. So first things first, because I am a person that does love to play in makeup, whenever I play in makeup, I use usually like the Neutrogena or the Clinique um, towelettes to get the makeup off first. Then I go in with the Clinique, take the day off, takes all of that makeup residue off of your face. The sun. I use Urban RX and I use the Even Tone Cleansing Bar. I can't open it with one hand, but it's a bar inside of this and it has a sponge in it and you take the sponge you wet it with water and then you take the sponge and you cleanse your face then you cleanse the sp then you cleanse the sponge what i like to do to cleanse my sponges i clean it and then i put a little alcohol on it rinse it out sit it back on top of the cleansing bar and i use the even super glow serum all over my face and then the urban rx the retinol dark spot treatment i use this on my neck because y'all know if you've been around here for a minute you know that i have um anthangosis nigerians whatever it is is when you have dark neck most people attribute it to having insulin resistance or pcos or any of those underlying conditions in my case they have just deemed it as they've deemed mine as rapid cell turnover that could be triggered by pcos nobody really knows but because my neck is dark i usually just try to at least help it out a little bit but nothing seems to work unless i do a chemical peel real talk this is what i've been using here lately when i go to bed and this is the collagen with the vitamin C, vitamin E oil in it. I'm also using this on my scar as well. But letting that, push it, putting that all over my neck, my face, let it soak in because it is a little, it's not greasy, but it does take a minute to absorb because it's so thick. And I do that. I got this from Burlington or TJ Maxx, one of them. Once a week, what I have been doing, sometimes twice a week because it smells amazing, from one of our subscribers, Nini, she sent me these products from her line. And this is an effoliating um, sugar scrub. And it's the one that's coffee. Let me see. Let me see if I can open it up. Hold on. That's how it looks. It smells like Starbucks with a hint of chocolate. That stuff right there, baby. If you got some dead skin on you wear it's gonna be gone it's gonna be gone i'm gonna leave her um link to her facebook page down below and she also sent over this peppermint scented um shea butter listen do you see that little piece of hair in there right there that ain't me your boy uses this on his hair and his beard as well so that little nice little luster that you see on him this is this like he's legit like do you see how much of this is going and y'all saw when we got this and he can't even he can't even hide the fact that he been in there dipping because his hair is right there and then she also sent over the peppermint stick and the sugar scrub and i use this on my lips so yeah that's basically what i do for my skin um i just keep it real simple so yeah, that's what I do. I try to keep it simple, keep it light. Um, that's about it. Like, real talk. I always say if you keep you treat your skin right, then like makeup application, all of that is always gonna go on smoothly because it has a great canvas to work with. But yeah, exfoliate and just treat your skin good. Use good products. So y'all, y'all want to see the lamp? Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. But let me turn it on so y'all can. See. Like y'all can see the mood that this light gives off. Baby, what? 
It is so much a vibe, yo. And my husband wants the black one for his side of the bed. I was like, you want to do the crystals? He was like, the mood that it gives off? I'll be a little bougie on my side. Just make it black. Just black it out. But yeah, so I have the USBs. Um, one goes to my Apple Watch that's sitting right here. And then the other one is to my phone. But yeah, y'all see it. Like, it's a whole freaking mood. So let me go ahead and turn it off. But real talk, I did want to take the time out to thank you all for you all coming back every single day. Loving these videos. I always am amazed by the fact that every Vlogmas, y'all love these videos because we feel like we're not doing anything. Well, in fact, we're not doing anything. We're just living our everyday lives, like being boring through the middle of the week. Um, especially now, you know, I'm on short term, so... You know, not do, trying to do too much, not trying to overly exert myself. But y'all just enjoy just people just doing normal things, living their normal life, not trying to show you anything new and exciting or anything like that. So for that, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I also want to ask that you all, if you just sliding through and you watching the videos, you're not subscribed, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. If y'all been liking us, this is what we are, this is who we are, this is what we do. Go ahead and go ahead and hit that like button as well. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to finish organizing these questions so that once Stanley gets home, I can get my life together so that we can do this q and I'm also within that video going to reference the other Q&A video that we did because some of the questions are repetitive. We're going to answer them, but the ones that we went into in depth with on the previous Q&A, We'll just reference that video because we don't want to waste a whole lot of time. So I've copied and pasted all of the questions from a Q&A post on YouTube. Now I gotta go to the videos, pull the questions from there. Had to make sure that there weren't questions under questions. Um, and then go to Instagram and do it. Then I need to organize the questions because I'm one of those people, I hate when I'm listening to a Q&A and the questions are all over the place. So if we're asking about our lifestyle and marriage and stuff. I want all of those things to be together. We're talking about finances. I want all those things to be together so that everything is kind of clear, concise, and follows a pattern. Um, so that's what I'm about to do. But yeah, y'all got some really good questions. Like I said, y'all want to know the tea and we here for it. had every intention of recording our Q&A video on yesterday, well last night, and Stanley was like, I don't have the energy, like real facts. Let's wake up fresh tomorrow and do it. So that's what we're about to do. I'm over here sipping on my coffee. So the video that you will see before this one will be said Q&A. <laughs> 